Studio Fix Fluid is an emollient based liquid which gives you a natural matte finish with a medium to full coverage. It contains dimethicone, silica, algae extract, and vitamin E. This product helps moisturize the skin. It has antioxidants to help protect the skin. It also protects you from UV rays. It has film formers, which makes the product long lasting. And it also has optical diffusers, which um, diminishes the appearance of pores and vine lines and all that stuff. And it also helps absorb oil. When it comes to Studio Fix Flu, you can use many tools. You can use your fingertips, provided that they're clean. You can use uh, sponges, and you can even use brushes. For example, I have the 129, the 190, and the 168 with me. You can use any of these brushes to make it look very pretty. You can also use the 187 and 188 brush, which I'll show you in a second. And um, I, I personally like to use the 187 and the 190 with this product because it can really add a lot of coverage. Well, you can do it with all, but you can add a lot of coverage um, just by applying a little bit more in certain areas and really blending them out pretty well. This product is great for all types of skin, so if you have oily skin, dry skin, don't worry about it. If you have oily skin, just use oil control lotion before you put this on. And if you have dry skin, use something a little bit more moisturizing, like um, Studio Moisture Cream or Moisture Lush Cream, and you can use this as well. So as you can see, I don't have perfect skin. I got stuff all over. I have acne scars on both sides of my cheeks. <sighs> but that's okay, whatever. Oh, and I also have a sunspot right here which is very awkward, so when I do brown eyeshadows, it looks like I just did it really bad. But whatever, it happens. And I wish there was an easy way for me to demonstrate this product, and there isn't, because I have a very interesting skin color. Skin color. I use NC20 and NC15, and if there was an NC17, I would be extremely excited, but since there's not, I have to mix the two together all the time. Um, when you see how it looks, it's going to be pretty, intense on my face and I usually warm it up or cool it down with a little bit of powder so if you feel if you think that it looks kind of weird on me it's because you have to put a setting powder on it so I'm going to use the 187 brush and I use about a half a pump of each and this is pretty good because if you're at home and you have two different colors and your skin is changing you can totally mix them together it's okay and I like to use the 187 for mixing colors together and for demonstration purposes I'm going to just pump it onto the brush. And thank God for these little pumps too, I swear. So I put a little bit of the NC15, and then a little bit of the NC20. You don't need a lot. And what I like to do is mush the brush together, like this, because it, it kind of spreads them evenly. So you don't have one big center of foundation on your brush. Just kind of mush it together at the bottom and all the white bristles should have foundation on and it should be all blended together perfectly. I just twist the brush and I smush it together. So you have an even amount of foundation on the top of the brush. And careful, you don't want to use too much too. I think this might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. So what I do is I stipple on the foundation first and then I just kind of start to blend as I go. It really doesn't matter where you blend first and stuff like that. There's no rule. If you don't want to use concealer, you can always double up on the foundation. That's totally fine. So this is what it should look like when it's done. It's covered up a little bit. It evens out the skin tone a lot. This is only with just one application and using a light amount, actually. I'm just glad that wasn't, that wasn't over. Um, overused but if I'm gonna show you one more step I guess that way you can see in case you do want to double up except I'm not gonna use so much so you want to be really careful the pumps help a lot actually so I'm only gonna do like a half a pump and a half a pump just a little bit because I don't want to put too much on my face <laughs> mushy 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 okay and where you really want to get, if you're, if you're looking to get more coverage, just focus on the parts where you want to cover more. Don't focus on putting it all over the face. It's just, it's overkill. So let's use this little side for example. I'm going to stipple that a little bit. And on my chin and right here. I don't know where I got acne scars from because I never ever scratch my ac acne off. Never. But for some reason they just don't go away. 
Sibling just makes it a little more of a coverage. Just gives it a little more of a co coverage. You're just kind of like patting it onto the skin as, as opposed to like blending it. You could blend a little bit on the out on the outer skirts of it, but there you go. I'm gonna leave the extra for my nails. Um, so this is what it looks like without using anything else. I did not prime my skin with Prep and Prime Skin or Prep and Prime Face Protectant. I just really want to show you what the product looks like all on its own. I did have um, Studio Moisture Cream and I had Strobe Liquid on top of the cream just to kind of give my face a little glow. And this is the final product, so enjoy. I recommend going to a Mac store, getting a sample, trying it out, and see how you like it.